Hi everyone, my name is Alisha Sadigot and I'd like to begin by thanking the Sarmaya team for having me here to talk about the work that I've been up to during the lockdown. In a more regular world, um, I work in the space of cultural education where I encourage public engagement with Mumbai's incredible cultural resources. It's museums, it's art galleries, uh, it's urban histories and it's built environment. As you can imagine, much of that work is at a standstill at the moment and so I've been using this time to actually develop a project that I've been working on for a while, thinking about for even longer and I think the time has come uh, for it really. Um, this project is a walking toolkit for teachers and the basic aim of this toolkit is to encourage teachers to work with their students and take their learning outside their classroom into their immediate neighborhoods. Uh, so the, you could be a, a teacher of any subject, of any board, because the underlying question that this toolkit asks is really what can't we learn from Mumbai's streets? The way it works is that uh, together the class will determine or draft out a, a map, a route around their immediate neighborhood. This walk route could take them to a local landmark, it could be a, a market, it could be a park, it could just be a religious site and then back again to school. Along the way, the toolkit will provide um, a series of cues, questions, hooks, uh, which will hopefully encourage the students to walk slower look closer and to think differently about an area they think they're familiar with. Uh, with these new thoughts and learnings, they go back to school where they can develop their reflections and learnings in a variety of different ways. The toolkit will include access to all the amazing online resources that museums and other cultural institutions in Mumbai have been sharing online. And the hope is that then teachers are able to use these resources in a more targeted fashion. Right. Um, initially, when we started talking about this toolkit, uh, it came from a belief that cultural education to really grow, uh, if we need that multiplier effect in our schools, then we have to empower the teachers to lead and plan and develop these sessions themselves. Um, it also then led to thinking about schools that are too far from cultural destinations that don't have the resources, the time, maybe they have a little, um, you know, they lack a little conviction of the need for this kind of learning and to then encourage them to develop hyper local um, experiences for their students using the same tools of cultural education, but in their immediate neighborhood. Um, given all that we're hearing about how cities will have to change, in this post-pandemic world uh, and by extension cultural destinations, schools as well, I think the toolkit will also be really useful um, in terms of you know all that they're saying that we no longer can just think about creating destinations for large crowds, but we will have to think about sort of dispersing resources and dispersing experiences. So creating things more in local environments and local neighborhoods for people to access um, in their own space and at their own time. Uh, so I'm really excited about this toolkit and I hope that we can sort of uh, build on all these uh, thoughts um, for the schools and their teachers. The other thing I'm working on at the moment is a set of learning resources for young learners uh, looking at the plague outbreak in Bombay in the late 1800s. Uh, the idea for these resources is of course to highlight how the city responded in the immediate aftermath but also how it adapted and changed in the decades that followed. So the question really is, is that how can Mumbai in 2020 adapt and change uh, given the crisis that we're faced with today? So I think uh, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope uh, you enjoyed listening to that. And uh, thank you again to the Sarmaya team. Um, yeah, bye.